Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing some new products. And one of those new products is going to be the ABH Jackie Ina collab. Um, and this is what it looks like. This is what I came up with. And if you'd like to see that and check it out, then let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is pull back my hair. Um, because I did just blow dry my hair, I always put on my face moisturizers and so forth ahead of blow drying my hair because so that it doesn't dry out my face anymore. So what I did put on was some Purity Made Simple Eye Cream and I push this all over and then kind of like wipe it down my face. And then I also use my Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior. So that's all I've put on so far. So I'm gonna be using the ABH foundation and ta -da! the shade that I ended up getting was 320N. So this is the guy and I'm just gonna pump some on my face or on my hand here. I'm gonna use a paddle brush. This is one of the MAC paddle brushes. This foundation actually feels really good on my face. This is not the first time that I've used it. Um, I think the shade that we picked out in the store was really good for me at the time. Um, it's the end of summer, so I still have some tan and it looked really good. I think it's the right shade for me. Um, I will note that a lot of the shades, this is a neutral shade, um, a lot of the shades that have warms in them um, actually looked have a lot of red pigment in it so pink and red in it so they were really uh, dark so I went with a neutral shade instead of a warm this time since I normally have warm undertones I will do a wear test on this as well today And I'm also going to be trying out a couple other new products with this review as well. So um, one of them is the ABH eye primer. Now I have found with this eye primer that it's really pigmented. It's white almost. Um, so when you put it on, it does brighten your eye. So you've really got to be careful when you're putting it on with your finger that you're not like dropping it under your eyelash or going beyond the edge of your eye. But I have found that I do like it a lot. It does great with blending eyeshadows and uh, not creasing, so. All right, then I'm also gonna be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow. This is in shade 2.5. So I'm gonna do this off camera. Wow. Okay, so now I've got brows. Um, so this is gonna be a two-part video. So I'm gonna be using the ABH new Jackie Ina palette. All right, and there is the monster. Now, a lot of people say that they don't like the ABH brushes. I do. I think that they work great. I don't use them all the time with these because uh, I have a ton of other brushes too, but I do like them. Um, some people just throw them away and I'm like, uh, -uh I like the brush. So, all right. So we're going to go in with, let's try. And most of these are... Uh, they don't have a white white like what I am 
used to. Oops. So I'm gonna go in with the Sultry palette because this one has a white white that I normally do all over my eye before I do my crease. So I'm gonna use this one here and I'm just gonna blend all over my eye first. And I always do a light color first. So, all right, so enough with the sultry. My other palettes over here. All right, so first I think I'm gonna use the ABH brush since it's a clean brush and I'm gonna go in with the ginger and just ever so slightly touch. Okay. Now for the darker color, I think I'm going to go in with the other end of this brush and I think I want to do, this one I think I want to do as a, that's really pretty. Oh, look at those two colors. They're so pretty. I like this color. Actually, I like that. I like both of them. <laughs> So for the outer wing here, I think I'm going to go in with this darker shade, the brown. And I'm going to put this on the outer corner. It's kind of like a burgundy brown. And that one's called a uh, And then just go with the other brush again, the other end, and just wipe this together and just blend, blend, blend. And I might add a little bit more to this side. How gorgeous is that? All right. Then I'm gonna take another clean brush. This one is uh, a Morphe 408. It's just a smudge brush. But I'm gonna go in with this color right here, which is sponsored. And just put a little bit on there. And this is one that you may have to do with your fingers as well. Yeah, I think it is. All right, so in we go with my finger. This one has like a greenish goldish tone. take that blending brush again and just blend the edges of that out. Some other new things to play with. I got the new uh, dose of colors. These were on sale at Ulta uh, recently. So I've got a dose of colors. This color is uh, Unbox. 
and this is what this guy looks like. It's kind of like a brownish. I didn't know if I should go for the brownish or this guy. Maybe I'll go with the bolder one. I'm going to an event today, so I'm going to be out in the sun. So let's check it out. Yeah, looks not as bold on the packet or on the inside here. So uh, I'm going to. pretty that is. It reminds me of the other one that I normally use, which is uh, Lucky from Urban Decay. But this one's really pretty too. And then I'm going to run it underneath. And then as a highlighter, I think I'm going to use this one here, which is Soleil. And I'm just going to take a little brush here and put that right in the corner. And below my brow bone. That is a gorgeous color. And then I'll put some on my nose. I know it's not a highlighter, but you know. And then I'll put some there too. <laughs> Since we're sticking with the ABH theme, I'm going to go in with a bronzer. This is from ABH. This one is Tawny. This one has a little bit of pink in it as a bronzer. Taking my Bare Minerals brush and I'm just going to buff that out some. I'm going to take a little bit of the NARS, and this is the Orgasm Blush, and I'm just going to put a little bit right there on my cheeks, just a little bit, and maybe right above the bronzer, just a tad, not much, and then just buff that out a little bit. And this is normally all that I do before I put on some setting spray. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Now I am going to be in the sun today, so uh, put some a little bit extra squirt on. Taking a dry sponge and patting this into my face. What this does is it really melds your makeup to the setting spray or your setting spray to the makeup, one or the other. Okay, so I've got some new mascara to try today and this is from Elsie. I've not tried this one before. Um, I just got this online from Ulta. And I've tried uh, some other LC products. I love their foundation as well as their eye makeup. Uh, I not tried this, so here we go. Oh, there's the brush. Oh, the smell is a little potent at first. All right, so there's one coat. Nice.
and then for lipstick I'm gonna go with a liquid lip today so that it will stay on for most of the day and I'm gonna use the dose of colors truffle and this one is a nude That is my full face. Um, I think the foundation really looks, matches my skin color really well. Um, the bronzer and blush and everything went on just perfectly. It feels really good on my skin. It feels light. So we'll do a wear test today and I'll be back later. Again, I'm gonna be out in uh, the sun today. So we'll see what happens. Um, and I will probably have some sunglasses on. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing today. So, um, all right. So that's my makeup tutorial today. Ta -da! I really like um, how this turned out. The colors that I used today were this one, um, which is Ginger Credit Sponsored Soleil. Um, the other ones. so pretty. There's one. Let's do this one. Oh, look at that purple. That one's a little bit more chunkier. And I'll do this one as well, which that one's a foil and that one is really pretty too. So I wasn't going to do this, but let's just wipe it and see what happens. Okay. So there we go. There's a couple few, um, straggled, um, swatches there okay so that is my final look I really like the eyelashes I think the Elsie um, mascara uh, may be a hit this one is the lash full mascara I think it's the only mascara they have I'm not sure um, of course you know I love the dose of colors uh, lipstick and um, I really love this rust color I think it really brings out the blue in my eyes and yeah all right so let me get on my way today and i will check back later so here's my final check-in for today i am back from my adventure i've probably had this on for about 10 11 hours now and in looking at like my chin and everything I think this foundation is awesome. Um, it was probably like a 75 degree day today. Um, but I don't have like any creasing in here. Um, it may have worn off my chin just a, a little bit since I ate and wiped my mouth today because I went to a picnic. Uh, but otherwise, everything else on my face looks really good. I'm really pleased with it. And um, let me pull this back a little bit. There was such controversy behind this palette. Um, I am going to try other colors next time. Uh, but I like the color scheme that I came up with. Uh, I do like it. And I think it held up really well. Even with the ABH eye primer, I really like their eye primer. So sometimes products go hand in hand when they're all of the same company. Um, maybe that has something to do with it too, but I do like it. And um, I don't think that it creased or anything today. I did have my glasses on, so um, it kind of protected somewhat of it today. Um, the My eyelash mascara that I had on was the Elsie. Um, this is their Lashful Mascara. I do like that. And it stayed on really well. It didn't smudge. It didn't flake off or anything like that. Um, and the Dose of Colors. The Dose of Colors uh, Eyeliner. I do really like that. I'm going to have to try other colors of that as well. So um, I think all of my makeup stayed on really well. Even um, I had put uh, Soleil this color here. Uh, I had put some there uh, on the tip of my nose as well as my Cupid's bow and it's still there even though I wiped my mouth uh, from eating picnic food today. Uh, it's still there so I'm really impressed with that too. Um, yeah, no smudging, no creasing, 
or nothing. So like I said, I will try some of the other colors next time. Um, maybe I'll do a part two of this as well. Um, yeah, I think they're really pretty, pretty, uh, it's a really pretty palette. And the only thing that I wish was I always use a white mat uh, when I do my eye first, just as a base. And um, this one does not have a, a white mat. The closest is this one right here, which is Soleil. And I think that it's a little bit too gold. It's not really a matte anyway. So, uh, but I still love the palette. Um, I like all of, I have several of the ABH palettes um, and I like them all. I, they all perform differently um, because of, well, obviously they're different colors, but um, I like them all. And I especially like this one as well. So hats off to Jackie for doing that. And um, yeah, I highly recommend it. So I'll try and do a part two and do a different eye look for you as well. So thanks again so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like below. I will leave all the deets below on everything that you need to know. Make sure that you subscribe for upcoming giveaways and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks again. God bless.